this uh, presentation right now. You said your colleague can't come in. Uh, I'm not sure why not. She just need to, uh, as soon as you, uh, she um, um, registered and she'll get a automatic email. Yep. Now, if you're on cell phone, you will have underneath in your cell phone, you have three different call, um, icon. And one of the icon is showing that you can see my face, you know, and the other icon is you switch it into look at the presentation, like the um, PowerPoint. And another icon is if you want to ask a question or you want to see what we type and you have to change to that. Okay. And if you want to look at some other people talk about it and typing, then you have to do the icon, right? If you're on um, a PC, computer, or notebook, MacBook, then uh, that is the uh, best idea to join this uh, uh, presentation because you can see all everything and just one screen a presentation the bigger ones and then you will see my face is smaller on the side uh, probably in the right side on the top and then underneath you, you see a chart uh, room that you can type you send your message okay how can you join the group yep let's go into uh I'll do it in the end of, of the presentation. So I'll show everyone, uh, put out the link so you guys can link it again uh, to the Facebook group. All right. All right, let's start. We have 96 people at the moment. Okay. Uh, today's topic is acupuncture and Chinese medicine to differentiate and address coughing. Right. So, what is coughing? So, cough is a common symptom uh, of the uh, respiratory tract. Yeah, it is caused the inf uh, by inflammation, uh, foreign body, physical or chemical stimulation to the uh, tracture, uh, bronchitis, mucos mucosa, uh, or pleura. Or well, you can read it, right? I'm not very good in English. <laughs> but basically just telling us what's happening with coughing. And coughing is uh, an abnormal thing to happen. But coughing is a, a, a norm. Uh, it actually can help us to pass out the, the things, um, the mucus uh, from, our, our, from the inside of the lung, right? So uh, one way coughing is pretty good because it actually help us to pass out a bad thing in, from the body, right? Otherwise, those things keep in our body, it will uh, become, it will harm our body, right? So, but we won't consider coughing as a normal thing, right? <laughs> All right. So, now coughing is what we are locked down at home, right, in New Zealand. I don't know the other country. I know Malay Malaysia, a lot of pe a lot of country that locked down. We can't go out, but we can be in level three. Now uh, we know that the COVID nineteen, the common symptoms of COVID nineteen uh, is one of them is dry coughing, right? Dry cough, and the other will be fever and tiredness. In the case that we're going to discuss today. It actually has fever and dry cough as well. And some people may experience aches and pains in the body, in the joint, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, and diarrhea. And funny enough, the case that we're going to discuss today is actually back from China. And then she suffered fever dry cough, and diarrhea. Okay, let's talk about Huangdi Neijing. 
and Huang Di Neijing chapter thirty eight Su Wen Ah Ke Lun Ke Lun means is coughing. This chapter talk about coughing, and there's a sentences that say about all five Zhang organs and Liu Fu. Five Zhang organs and six Fu organs would cause coughing, not just lung. And Chinese call Wu Zhang Liu Fu Jie Ling Ren Ke Fei Du Fei Ye. So, what does it mean? A, um, now I know a lot of people asking questions at the moment. I can't focus on your question, so you might have to ask the question in the end. So at the moment, I'm just focusing on uh, uh, presenting the uh, topic. Okay, so let's just focus, and you will get the time to ask question. Right. Um, so I won't answer any question at the moment. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Now, in Su Wen Ke Lun Pian, right? It say all five chunks,、uh, which mean all organs would cause coughing, not just lung. What does it mean? Okay, then think about it. Have you ever used this to、um, in your clinic in your practice? You know, like what other organs that we have? Apart from cough,、uh, a lung. Now we have um, um, heart and small intestine, right? Heart, small intestine. So think about it. Have you ever、um, diagnosed that coughing is actually? You will give a diagnosis. Say, oh, this is not a lung. Coughing. This is a heart and or small intestine that causing the coughing, causing the lung cough. You know, and one of the famous、um, uh, doctor Chen Xiuyuan that he got a book called "Say Yi Xue San Zhi Jing." In that book,、uh, it it said about lung is just like a bell. You know. So anyone can ring the bell. When anything that attack to the bell, knock to the bell, and the bell will ring. Which in lung is just a bell. Any organs come and knock on the lung, then this person is gonna be coughing. Doesn't make sense here. That is Yi Xuesang, San Zhijing, and, and Chen Xiuyuan, famous doctor in China, that talk about. He was very famous, and people said that he was the second person of Zhang Zhongjing, the second doctor of Zhang Zhongjing, because he used a lot, a lot of、uh, classic formula.、Um, so think about it. we talk about heart and small intestine, right? And then think about were there any case? How do you diagnose that this patient? Patient coughing is actually not from lung; it's actually from the stomach and spleen, right? So, how do you diagnose this? Because we we're going to talk about diagnose, right? Then, one more thing is, if we don't have the diagnose, there is no treatment. First, di diagnose. You collect all the information. Then you diagnose properly. Then you give a treatment principle. Then you give treatment, right? So the treatment it can be acupuncture, can be boxibustion, can be acupressure, and can be Chinese herbs. And all the Chinese herbs, acupuncture, acupressure, gonna follow the treatment principle, right? That's how we do it properly, right? Then the treatment principle actually come from the diagnose. Then first, how do we diagnose? You know, how do we diagnose? According to here, is all organs can cause coughing. And how do we diagnose that the coughing actually not from lung, actually from liver or gallbladder, or actually from kidney and bladder? 
So let's think about it. Can you simply through asking the question and get to the answer of your diagnose? So we need to think about this. This is the 19th of February, 2020. It's a female patient, 73 years old. Went back to China for Chinese New Year. Or it should be uh, just came back from New Zealand, right? Yeah, low fever of low fever, suffer from low fever at about thirty six point four degree. Dry coughing when returned to New Zealand. Of course, in this time is because she went back for Chinese New Year and that started in Wuhan because of the COVID nineteen. Then. The family quickly get them to fly back to New Zealand. But unfortunately, as soon as they arrive in New Zealand and they, of course, they have to do two weeks of isolation, uh, isolate, right? And they did that, but she suffered from low fever and as well as dry, dry cough. And that's very terrifying because, of course, you would think it, it might be COVID-19, right? Also complain about bitter, te bitter taste in the mouth, dry mouth, and diarrhea three to five times a day. This has been the case for many years. So diarrhea has been for many, many years. It actually, um, ever since she removed her uh, gallbladder, right? So I didn't put it in here, but yes, she, uh, the history of her case is uh, remove the um, gallbladder due to uh, gallstone. Watery type of diarrhea. So drinking water made her uncomfortable. No appetite. Abdominal bloating and abdominal pain. If she eat more food. Night urine. So coronavirus test negative. So luckily, it's negative. This is not the case of coronavirus. <laughs> I think uh, they sent the uh, uh, the sample to Australia back there because they, they they can't test it over here. So the doctor with this uh, and I don't know where where, about the, where they get to uh, the test. Uh, they actually sent to Australia, so they wait for about a week to get the results. Okay, now we talk about the diarrhea, right? This is a chart of di diarrhea. And as you can see, type 7 is watery. No solid pieces. Entirely liquid. And what's a normal one? The normal one would be uh, type 3 and 4. Right? Type 1 and type 2 is um, considered as constipation. Type 1's constipation. Yeah. All right. This is the coronavirus test. Uh, I think the you can't see it clearly. It's too small. The word is too small. I don't know why. But go back to what you have been uh, downloaded in the document. You can put it up and see that they actually say that um, human coronavirus not detected. But anyway, everything is normal. Like her daughter sent it to me through um, VChat. All right. Now, how do we diagnose? So someone asked for help in the Facebook. Okay. How could they, how come they can't get in? I don't know why. Uh, they just have to um, let me try see what I can give you a minute. So I want to help those people to get in. Um, so for those people to get in, can you please send this link to them? So once they register, they can get in straight away.
because I do need them to register. Um, otherwise, no name will sh uh, show uh, an email will show on this um, uh, platform, and I would not be able to give them a certificate. Okay. Give me a minute. I just have a look on the Facebook and see. Um, see where we now is. Oh, okay. I just do a post. I make an announcement and I pinpoint it. I pin it on the top. Because some people ask for a login number. There's no login number because this is very different with um uh from zoom because this platform you don't need to download anything you just need to um just just register and then you get an, a link and then you just click it in that's it it's much simple okay thank you uh nelly all right now we talk about how can you get to diagnose you know yes we get the question you know we ask the question and from here, we know this patient have diarrhea for a long, long time. It's not just happening uh, ever since she got fever and her drive cough. So drive cough, fever, bitter taste in the mouth, and dry mouth, and diarrhea, and watery. You know, and drinking water made her un uncomfortable, right? And abdominal bloating. And abdominal pain if you eat more food, right? This is discussion time. How do you diagnose according to what you have just seen? You know, the patient give you all these details. You know, without pose and seeing tongue, what would you think this patient cough from? The coughing causing from which organs? Is it just lung? So I need you to give you some answer. What would you think? If this patient tell you all this information, just this, not others, this is the real case. You know, the patient just give me all this. You know, as an acupuncturist, as in Chinese herbalist, how do you diagnose this patient? Liver, stomach. Okay. Good. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. There's no right or uh, right answer or wrong answer. So just you diagnose according to what you see, you know. So someone can see and tan tan lang say it's liver and stomach. Good. Wood invent inventing earth. Okay, good. And spleen, Nick say. Yep. Good. As we can see, because of the diarrhea, right? And because of because of what? Uh uh what we type of diarrhea diarrhea, right? For a long time, then we, we suspect that this is due for that time of a uh, 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 long chronic diarrhea, and that would be what? It would be spleen deficiency, right? And that makes sense. Shonan said kidney, liver, and stomach spleen, night urine. Yep, that makes sense too, because night urine, you can put it on kidney, right? Bladder, kidney. That makes sense. No ap appetite, bloating, that's stomach and spleen, right? Makes sense. Treat the earth. 
Makes sense. Call evil chi moving to stomach and small intestine and you'll be. Yep. Peter. Yep. Spleen in deficiency with heat in liver, gallbladder and lung. Okay. How do I pronounce this? G A G -I -T. Grace? <laughs> Sorry, I'm very bad in that. <laughs> but thank you, yeah. Cool. All right. No appetite uh, bloating. Kitchen hole. Spleen chi deficiency with damp heat. Kidney deficiency heat in GB. KT. Thank you. That That is pretty good. Dam heat obs obstructing middle jaw. Okay. Henry. Thank you. Yep. Constantine, uh, liver and small intestine. Great. Thank you. Okay. Let's, let's back to the presentation. If you're on cell phone, please back to the presentation. Quani Quanita stomach, liver heat, spleen, qi, shu deficiency. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. They all make sense. Yeah. Cold dam in spleen. Jordan Liu. Yeah. That all makes sense. Thank you very much for, you know, giving the all your answer and, and brainstorm your, <laughs> your brain and <laughs> using your brain and turn and let me know what you think about how do you diagnose, you know, as I say, there is no right wrong you know because there is just you only get so much information you know and just give you an idea and give everyone an idea that everyone can have their uh, opinion when it comes to a case like this you know and you know people will ask you online i have all the symptom what does it mean you know and 10 acupuncturists or 10 her chinese herbalists it'll give 10 10 different dinos so the the question is, what is the real right diagnose? What is the right thing? You know, what is actually what the patient, uh, you know, um, according to this case, which diagnose should I follow? If if all you all you guys give me all this diagnose, and which one should I follow? That's one thing. And when I follow, I will give your diagnose and I give a. Uh, uh, treatment principle and I give herbs or acupuncture, right? So how does it work for this patient? If the patient respond good, better, then I'm right. If the patient respond not good, not better, then I'm wrong then. You know, it's a simple, it's very simple, right? Okay, I use post diagnose, okay? Uh, in the post diagnose, I take the post on both sides. So some of you in here like, um, been attend to my Oakland class and you know how to do that. Okay, I'm gonna do this for you. Uh, so I take the pulse and I put three finger chun guan si on both sides. So I superficial and go in. So the first pulse that I feel on my fingers is actually on the right one. The right one. This is a female right one. So female on the right side. If you watch the acupuncture spirit. You know, female on the right side, chun guan si means heart, liver, kidney. So on the right side, if I, if patient face to me, like I take this, it's actually this one. I first get it. So that means wood strong. Okay. I need to plug in. Okay. So wood strong. So wood too strong. Wood represent what organs? Liver and gallbladder. <clears throat> Liver and gallbladder. Now I've got the diagnosis. In this case, the coughing is causing from liver and gallbladder. So what would I do in the principle? Of course, we reduce the wood. Reduce 
lover and go bladder right okay i've got the principle i've got the diagnose i've got the principle then i go ahead and reduce wood which means liver and go bladder and reduce fire why reduce fire because according to five elements the fire is the sun of wood so when you reduce when it's excess conditions you reduce the sun and fire is the sun of wood so which means in this case i'm going to reduce fire as well and fire is heart and small intestine now we just in this case i do iron triangle the principle called wood strong of iron triangle which is reduce wood and fire tonic five metal why tonic five metal as we know five in five elements fire against fire against metal so now we want the fire to get low and low which we have to reduce it we need to get fire weaker then when metal is strong the metal will come opposite to against fire that makes that makes sense to you and we know the metal actually against wood then if we tonify metal if we tonify metal then when metal is stronger then the wood will be weaker so in this case that is why i would use wood and fire and tonic fine metal so i used so that makes sense right okay that's what i use <clears throat> okay if you've been to you know attended oakland class in uh, a few months ago then you would understand why i use this and you would understand why how i diagnose with the pulse okay okay now let's have a look on the treatment that's formula one balance formula one and i use guizi cinnamon twigs zhishi but i'm not good in english i just read the uh <laughs> the, the chinese zhishi the second herb s 168 right so the ratio is three and eight right so and xuan fu hua s246 right that is two huang nian s261 that's seven so xuan fu hua and huang nian is actually reducing when i use two seven that is reducing heart and small intestine which is reducing the fire and gui ji and zhi shi three eight that is actually reducing wood liver and go bladder then i add on uh si xin asarum that's asarum and wu wei zi nine and four that is actually tonic five the metal which is lung and large intestine i put all this herb into a tea bag and i want to let you know that that's the ratio i didn't use gram i used small teaspoon very very small teaspoon three teaspoon of it eight teaspoon of it two seven nine four teaspoon of it very very te small teaspoon if you want to know how small is the teaspoon then we have a video into how we make herbs it's actually on our uh webinar platform is free that you can watch it how we make the herbs 
So we'll ask this patient to take one tea bag with hot water and sit throughout the day. So put everything in the tea bag, so seven bag, and the patient just put it in the glass of water and put hot water in. Just sip it like this, right? Just sip it like this and throughout the day, when they finish, keep the tea bag in the cup and keep refilling hot or warm water and keep sip throughout the day. That's it. Okay. As you can see the formula two. Okay. Formula two is not something I would give to patient. I give to this patient, I prescribe to this patient formula two is because this patient is a very old Chinese woman, you know, and she had a lot of treatment in China with Chinese medicines. And when I gave her tea bag and she came back and asked me, just this tea bag? Just this amount? Can you give me more herbs? I said, oh dear, <laughs> what can I do? Because <laughs> I don't give those herbs that cook. She said, she said well, give me more herbs and I want to take more. This won't work. She said, this won't work. Okay. Now I have to take care of patients. Um, uh, I have to come for this patient because this patient was very, very sick and and emotional as well. She was very stressed and anxious, you know, depressed because of coughing and being two weeks isolated. And I didn't put it down. Two lots of antibiotics and none of antibiotics help her. And nothing is getting better. And she is on a very such a bad mood. And I say, okay, don't worry. I'll give you some more herbs. <laughs> okay. And then I, I was thinking, what can I give her? All right. So go back to, as you can, you can see, okay, diarrhea. Diarrhea with drinking water make her uncomfortable. I used to use, I used to diagnose my patient according to um, symptoms. Not about tongue, not about pose, especially not pose, uh, taking pose at all. Um, we know an Uling San, this classic formula. If patient drink, it make them vomit. And then this is the formula that suit them, right? Then what happened is if this patient, um, diarrhea, so diarrhea means a lot of water go to the intestine and much less water go to urine, like go to kidney and uh, bladder. So Wu Ling San formula, it can make the water go through the bladder, passing out urine, so to firm the bowel motion. All right? So that is what am I thinking? So I give the formula two, according to the symptom. I said, well, I did formula one that is according to the pose, that is the right diagnose. I'm pretty confident with that. And the patient asked for more herbs. There is no more I can give her. And I said, okay, let's have a look. Then I give her Wu Ling San, as well as Liu Jun Zi Tang. I, all of you said, well, this is a, most of you say spleen qi deficiency, right? Yeah, liu jing zi tang. And think about it. Wood strong, then we can protect the spleen. Protect the spleen. So put liu jing zi tang. That's the thinking of why I do this. But I want to um, point out, in my diagnosis, and in my principle, I use wood strong of iron triangle, which is reducing liver and gallbladder and heart and small intestine and um, tonic fine 
large intestine and lung. And I use Formula One according to the principle and the diagnose, right? Then what happened is I can put acupuncture needle according to the Formula One, but I don't have acupuncture point for Formula Two. What I mean is the Formula One, I give those herbs, then I can have acupuncture point that to suit all the herbs. But when it comes to Wu Ling San and Liu Jun Zi Tang, now my and everyone's thinking of the points is differently. It's gonna be different. You know, let's say Wu Ling San. Or some people say, well, we should use Zhong Ji. I don't know Zhong Ji point. I don't know the code, but I'll show you Zhong Ji is over here. On the run. Below belly button for fortune. Okay. And people will think Guan Yuan or will think Ying Ning Quan over here. Right? Because this is for water. Some people will think, okay, um, just do Guan Yuan and Qi Hai and Zhong Ji. That's it. But some people would like to use Ying Ning Quan, right? So there's no standard for Wu Ling San. What point, what acupuncture point for Wu Ling San? And there is no standard for Liu Jing Si. Liu, no acupuncture point standard to work to Liu Jing, Liu Jing Si Tang. You may think, okay, let's do, uh, stomach 30, six right and some say no 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 let's use spleen six i don't know uh pericardium six and some will say well, well let's use zhong wang you know so all this point you can use it but we won't get a standard point that everyone agree with that but if i follow the formula you see i got the formula i will have the point that everyone will agree with that. Now, of course, in this case, I only use herbs. I don't use acupuncture. So I put out, if acupuncture, if I would give this patient acupuncture, the principle is we use wood and fire, right? What does it mean over here? Okay. We use technique we reduce the sun of the meridian. Reduce fire mean small intestine and heart meridian. Then the point, the, the sun point of small intestine, which is small intestine eight. The sun point of heart meridian is heart seven. Then, okay. We're going to reduce the wood as well, right? Reduce the wood means liver meridian and gallbladder meridian. Then we reduce the sun point of liver meridian, which is liver 2. Reduce gallbladder meridian, the sun point of gallbladder meridian, which is gallbladder 38. Now, what the other principle? We have to tonify metal, which is lung and large intestine. When we do tonify technique, we tonify the mother point of that particularly meridian. The mother point of lung meridian is lung nine. The mother point of large intestine meridian is large intestine 11. So again, I didn't give this patient acupuncture, but if I would give this acu patient acupuncture, I would give this. And this principle is come from and match the formula one and the treatment principle and as well as the diagnose, which is wood too strong. All right, the patient came back for visit. This is the second visit of 26th of February. 
So she respond, report that uh, her diarrhea it was three to five times down to three times watery bowel motion. When I say BBM, it's because my computer, I have a shortcut. If I put BM, it will come out with Chinese herbs. So I always put BBM. BBM means bowel motions. <laughs> okay. So two days did not has loose bowel motion. That's pretty good. That's pretty good within a week. That's two days without loose bowel motion and the diarrhea has reduced from three to five and only go for three times daily and still watery. You know? Drinking water make her uncomfortable still. Right, that remain the same. So she felt energy. There is some energy up to the mouth at night time. That's very uncomfortable for her. So some energy from tummy go up to the uh, mouth. And I was thinking maybe acid reflux, but she said no. She never had this, but she wasn't sure what was going on. So I'm not quite sure either. We know that refluxing causes uh, dry cough as well. So I asked her all those questions and do you lay down and do you feel it? Have you ever had it? I said no, just start recently. Because uh, we know reflux, it can cause dry coughing and some people get a burning sensation and she didn't get any burning sensation. And when they lay down, she didn't get those sensation. So it's pretty random. So I just about, I would say, a raw outlet was uh, acid reflux. Better in eating with Chinese herbs. Okay, she, her appetite was better after the herbs. Uh, the bitter test uh, test better. Okay, test better. So she can test better when eating, which means she wasn't test. She can't test the food properly. In the past, the risk of the it uh, the risk of them actually not it still the same remain the same. That dry cough still the same, uh, low fever in the evening still the same. Uh, but something that's better to not much bloating and pain after eating too much. Uh, the night urine still the same, uh, dry and bitter tests in the mouth still there and some other funny tests in the mouth all right again let's have a look i took the pose again now for most of her what would we, what would we do well the last herbs it was working well right the last pres prescription it was working well like normally what we think is let's just keep going with those same herbs because it was working right they were working those that strategy worked already but well, most of the time if i was uh i was the way that i prescribed the herbs um uh, for i used to prescribe herbs um according to classic formula and i mainly asked the question and collect the information and look at the tongue um and then give the herbs and i would if back to what I was, I would still remain the herbs because it was, uh, it was better because it was, it was better, you know. But I didn't since I used pose to diagnose. So I took the pose and I found out, wow, the pose different. The pose present running pose. What learning pose mean? Okay, I'm going to explain to you. Learning pose mean. In this case, the patient in Chinese medicine, we say in our culture, we always say the male left side, female right side. In Chinese, we call nan zhuo nu yu. The male left side, female right side. And what does that mean in Chinese medicine? It actually means yang, 
in the left side of male, yang in the right side on female. When it comes to pose, it means the female pose, chun guan shi, on the right hand is yang. On the left hand, chun guan shi is yin. Okay, that is what we understand female right, male left. Okay, keep going. This patient, now we know about the right side, chun guan shi. If the right side chun guan shi is stronger than left side chun guan shi, which when you take the pose, you find that the chun guan shi on the right side, we, we, took, we put three finger, six finger all together at the same time, and all this pose on that side stronger than the other side, which means we have to take, we have to press more to be able to feel the left side chun guan shi. You know, we are comparing chun to chun, guan to guan, and chi to chi. Okay? So in this case, it's the right side or right side chun guan shi are stronger than the left side chun guan shi. Then we give it a diagnose it's called ren ying pose. And ren ying and micro pose actually come from... Um, Chapter 9, uh, Ling Su Chapter 9, Zhong Shi. Okay, and Zhong Shi talk about pose, how to pose, use pose diagnose and how to acupuncture. Now, if you attend my course, the workshop in Auckland, you know what happening, you know, you have already, okay, this is simple. Now, so we know the Yang stronger than Yin. Which means yang is too strong and yin is a weak. And all yin, then what is the treatment principle? That's simple. Reduce yang, tonify yin. Right? Reduce yang, tonify yin. And that's simple, right? Okay. Now, when I know this, which means we're going to reduce all the yang meridian, all the yang organ. And then we're going to tonify all the in organ, in meridian. We're going to talk about on the next page. All right. So all these herbs in my clinic, I can use, I actually, in, in this case in here, because I know all organs are out of balance. How do I know all organs are out of balance? And I use um, magical 12, the Dr. Tan's balance method, we have magical 12. And how do you apply magical 12 in here? And this is the formula for magical 12. When it comes to magical 12, and magical 12 can, it can present as magical 12 means all organs out of balance. Every organ out of balance. And how do I know that? Let's get back to the symptoms. The patient say, The patient is coughing, then we know, okay, coughing is lung. If we use zhang fu bian zhen, okay, coughing is lung. Then what about bloating and abdominal pain? That stomach and spleen. We can say this stomach and spleen, right? Because they relate to eating. Then what about night urine? That's kidney and bladder. We, we are not quite sure what happened is in, in deficiency or yang deficiency or qi deficiency or, uh, uh, whatever. But we know what organs related to those symptoms, right? Let's talk about, um, what else? Diarrhea. Well, diarrhea can be stomach, spleen. It can be large intestine, small intestine, right? And for long time of diarrhea, it can be related to kidney. Right, and this patient's on such a mood, bad mood and depressed and depression, and then we can call it, oh, it is what liver and gallbladder as well. 
you know. So in this case, we know from the symptoms what this patient complained about all these conditions, we know it relates to all organs. So that is why in here we have a diagnosis of running pulse. We know that all organs, young organs, are working or functioning stronger than um, uh, in organs. Now, those in and young organs should be balanced. That should not be working some of the organs working too hard, the other working too weak, right? So they should work balance all together. Now, organs. So in this case, I use San Huang Xie Xin Tang to reduce small intestine and tonified heart. I use Long Gan Xie Gan Tang to reduce gallbladder and tonic fight liver. I use Ba Zheng San to tonic fight kidney and reduce bladder. I use Xiao Chen Qi Chang to reduce large intestine and tonic fight lung. I use Qing Wei San to reduce stomach and tonic fine spleen. Then I use Ba Wei Di Huang Wan for uh, pericardium and Sanjia. And the ratio is 2, 3, 1, 4, 0.5 and 1. Again, all of these herbs put it into all of this formula and put in tea bag. Because again, this patient still complain about the herbs are too little. Can she get more herbs? I know uh, it's difficult. I'll keep the formula too for her to try to make her happy. I say that's, I already give you more herbs. I wouldn't give anyone that much of herbs in general. And you are the case that I do an exception for you. And she a bit of laughing, but you know, still not quite. Um, because as you see, it's a bit improving, but her main complaint still there. What is the main complaint? Dry cough and fever. That was the most, um, uh, those conditions are the most, um, uh, most thing that scare her, that make her worry, you know. So those two remain. So that's why she wasn't very happy about that. Even though her bowel motion is a bit better. Okay, anyway. Um, if we do acupuncture and according to this pose, okay, running pose, okay. As you see, pose diagnosed is young, strong, in, weak. And the treatment principle is reduce sun, tonic fine mother, and reduce young, which we all young meridian, which you use, reduce the point of the sun. Uh, the sun point of the young meridian and tonic fine, the mother point of in meridian. Now, for the balanced meridian, we use, um, as you can see here, we reduce liver, sun jiao, small intestine, stomach, gallbladder, and UB. Tonic fine, tonic fine, lung, pericardium, heart liver, spleen, and kidney. All you can see in here are when we do point, point selection, uh, large intestine 2, reduce the large intestine 2, sun jiao 10, small intestine 8, stomach 45, GB 38, UB 65, okay, and 25 lung 9, PC 9, heart 9, uh, level 8, spleen 2, kidney 7.
those would be the point that I use. Again, where did those points come from? This point come from the diagnose, come from the principle. And it actually matched the um match the the uh, the formula. So the main thing is you need to learn how to diagnose properly. If you just ask the question, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know how how it get to here, you know. So the main thing is how to get the the diagnose. By asking the question, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't choose those points. And again, Dr. Tan's balance method acupuncture for um, medical 12, it used, um, it actually used the image holographic theory to needle, but I changed it into um, using the pose to to you to apply medical 12 and it's very very powerful as you can see in all my patients as you can see all chronic patients even we in New Zealand we treat a lot of ACC patients when they walk in they have back pain you ask all this question they have night urine they have insomnia they have um, other problem like uh, S6 reflux diarrhea constipation you know you know they have back pain but this back pain is not just back pain itself you know it actually linked to other organs as we started in in the first in this presentation we said all organs five chang organs and six full organs can cause coughing not just lung. Then think about it. Chest pain, heart disease, which means all organs can cause heart disease, not just heart. And all organs can cause lower back pain, not just kidney. Right? So if you know, if you realize this, this theory, you know, what Huang Ting uh, taught us, then we need to find a way that we can access to the diagnose properly. Because as I see, diarrhea, it can be spleen qi deficiency, it can be spleen qi working too hard, too strong. You know? Okay. Okay, the patient came back the 5th of March. Great news. No longer fever in the evening. That's good, isn't it? The temperature is 37 degrees. Oh, another great news. Dry coughing is less. Then bowel motion first one were normal and then watery for two times after that daily which means every morning the first bowel motion was normal what's normal normal is what we i just showed you the chart is type three and four i think she told me it was type four we have it in the in the future appointment um then but the water is still happening Two times. So bowel motion three times, but the first time normal. That was good. And the new symptom, dizziness. She didn't complain about this. And she said she started, she began to get uh, dizziness. That's not good. But no longer funny energy up to the mouth. That's a great thing. That was at night time. The night urine still. The bitter and dry mouth still. Uh, I didn't put a note properly. It should be she. She went to bed between eleven and twelve o'clock. Wake up two or three times. Hard to get back to sleep again. So sleeping is not too good.
Let's have a look. The herbs. Again, what do I do? I was working very well, right? The last formula, the diagnosis of young, strong, in weak, using 12 magical points, 12 magical theory um, to use all the herbs, and it was working very well. But again, what would you do? I mean, if I was what the way that I prescribed in the past, prescribed the herbs in the past, then I would do the same herbs. I wouldn't change the herbs. I would say keep going with the same herbs, right? But I didn't. I took the pose again and I found out, oh, the pose changed again. And the diagnosis is actually earth too strong. Oh God. How many how many of you um were diagnosed that split chi deficiency? Now I totally against the diagnosis that what I made in here. It's earth too strong. Peter said, heat in yang mean much removed, now more sao yang in the middle, right? If I were waiting, um, if we go to the back, you know, because we discuss herbs a lot in here, isn't it? If I were um, doing the way that I uh, just, you know, collecting the uh, information from uh, by asking the patient, um, what I would do for the classic formula for this case, if I don't use the um, uh, post diagnose at all, I would do Xiao Cai Hu Tang. The reason I do Xiao Cai Hu Tang is because the bitter test, you know, the bitter test and dry cough, I would do some Wu Wei Zi, Xi Xin Gan Jiang all together. Then the diarrhea, I would still use Wu Ling San. So that is called Cai Ling Tang. Is very good for this patient, but because I do the post, I forgot about, I forget about all the way that I used to prescribe. And if you want to ask me which one will work better, <laughs> I don't know because, as I said, if I use the one, the way that I diagnose, which most people do, um, do the practice in this way when they come to herbs, I change because I really get. Uh, understand what Huang Di Neijing told us, and I believe in it. This is the first thing. And the secondly, I changed it because um, when I ask all the questions, collect the information, um, I found that there are a lot of things that I actually hidden. I didn't make the proper diagnosis. And when the patient respond to me, uh, there's no improving, then I don't know how to change the herbs a lot of time because in my knowledge, my, my diagnosis is still the same, are still good. Uh, and when I ask all the questions and all the conditions still the same, and I keep thinking this is the way I'm right. So I keep giving the same herbs to them. Or I may change the others, you know. And it becomes too difficult, but when I use pose, easy. I get all the information, I forget about the complaint, what the patient made. I just follow the pose. Carol has some um, um, question. Can we say it's strong stomach weeks? Um, yes and no. The reason I say yes and no, because now this time the pose is like this, you know. We said about the roaming mind is the right side stronger than left, right? When patient face to me, this hand, I take the right pose. This hand, I take the le left pose. And it was like this. And the first 
visit the patient pose was this one the guan is too strong and the guan in here when it's just itself too strong it represents wood it represents liver and gallbladder and this is different so the second visit is those three poles are stronger than that three poles. In this case, when I say earth too strong, is I felt the poles, this one on the left one, I felt the left one first. The left one on my finger first, I can feel it too first. So no longer this size stronger than that one. And left one means stomach and spleen stomach and spleen so in this post diagnosis is a bit different with the one on the second treatment okay this is tang ye mai fa which is on tang ye post it comes from uh fu xing jue tang ye which is the classic formula the zhang zhong jing get classic formula get a lot of classic formula into sang han nun classic formula sang han nun and all this classic formula mainly from tang ye jing which mean which mean tang ye jing has its own system to diagnose to use classic formula and it's different with sang han nun okay let's keep going now I have the earth too strong. Carol, I'm not saying you're wrong, you know. I'm just saying that my understanding is that way. And when I make this uh, diagnose is that way, and you may have different opinion and you may have different thinking. Again, there's no wrong or right, you know. There's no wrong or right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is just the way that I understand and how, how I diagnose it and how the theory that I learned it come to. And it's just that the way that you say that um, it may be right, and but it doesn't fit in our theory in my case with what I learned, you know. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Good processing, but she is old and weak. Yeah, maybe Peter. <laughs> okay, now, uh, iron triangle earth strong. That is the principle I'm going to do, all right? We use earth, spleen, and stomach, right? And we use metal, lung, and large intestine, tonic fire, wood liver and gallbladder and i know and i have to split spend some time with you for the tri um uh, triangle okay now again we're using the uh five elements now the earth too strong the principle is when it's strong we need to reduce right and the principle is we need to reduce the sun Yes, we reduce the earth itself. If you reduce the sun, it will get better results. So, which element is the sun of earth? Metal. Earth, metal, right? That is why we reduce the metal as well, because metal is the sun of the earth, right? So, we use the earth, we use the metal. That's it. So, those two coming down those two coming down all right now we're gonna make it even better how do we make it even better with tonic fine wood why tonic fine wood because wood when wood is strong when wood is strong then the earth become weak because wood against the earth does it make sense? Because our purpose is to make the earth weak. You reduce the earth, 
then you tonify the liver when liver no wood the liver is strong and the earth is become weaker that is what i call the iron triangle treatment five elements one All right okay now mandy said how about if someone have spleen she but at some time also at the same time also stomach heat that's good remember if i come back to here you can tell from the pose okay look at this running pose this is what you just said spleen deficient spleen deficient mean in deficient stomach strong mean yang strong that is your case okay. you find it very confusing why confusing is because forget about all the condition that patient tell you focus on the pose the body tell you the pose directly tell you what's going on in the organs at this time because when we give treatment to patient the organ we treat the organs the organs working the work the organs start to work and every week every second every day every minute the organ will be represent differently because some organs get better quicker some organ get better slower some organ work better some will good organ respond slowly so because all the organs represent they work together but they different they respond differently now what we check with the pose is we want all the organs it keep working keep responding but they need to become a new balance and another hand we are regulating the pulse we are regulating the organs function i don't care about what condition they get i don't care about what they complain is i just focus on the pulse and to feel the organs function and i want the organ function become a new balance that's what i do so when the body the organs tell me today in this moment my stomach has been working too hard the others pretty good then i just give herbs hey give herbs to tell the uh, uh stomach and spleen and say hey i should remind you you are ruling pretty good please slow down wait for the other to uh wait for the uh, the other to get better before you you keep it, keep running too fast you know and on on the last page the last visit is the the full organs the full organs all full organs are working too hard and the in organs are working not as hard and we want to use the herbs to rebalance it and get the herbs in and tell all the yang yang fu organ slow down a bit wait for the in zhang organs to function better before the running again doesn't make sense to you so it's a different idea and here and if you think about the energy where it come from we, we think about the energy is the function of the organs right so we are working on the function of the organ you know that's what we're doing and the pose using the pose diagnose to feel we actually feel feeding the chi feeding the the function from the organs and the 
the body will tell us what's going on. Because when we ask the patient, the patient tell us all the symptoms. The patient didn't lie. But the thing is, the patient will feel something that if I'm the patient, I am pretty much used to the pain. And I won't say anything about pain. I just will say something that's the most annoying me. And they may not be the main complaint. In this case, if I using the, uh, uh, I will, I will actually told the patient, the reason that you get this coughing and whatever uh, a fever is because you have long time of diarrhea. If I give you treatment, I know you worry about the coughing and fever, but I think if I get your uh, bowel motion better, and I would think that your bowel motion can get better, so get better first, and therefore your coughing and fever will get better, and the result will last. Otherwise, it won't last. Because she was getting what um, antibiotics, and then she take she took it, and the fever gone, and it keep coming back. You see, because the organs function were too low, it couldn't maintain the results. <clears throat> okay let's keep going now, if i was going to give her acupuncture now, according to balance formula one okay again balance formula two is just something that i give her because i want to comfort her emotion and this, she didn't complain anymore, but I just, okay, well, just give you the same, you know, to comfort her. But um, the main thing that I, I use to treat her is actually balance formula one. Now I think about it, I shouldn't give her balance formula two of the uh, Liu Jin Zi Tang. Why is that? Because of the earth too strong. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I shouldn't give her that, right? But anyway, I did it already. <laughs> There's no excuse. Um, acupuncture. And if I give her acupuncture, and the principle was reduce the earth and metal, which is stomach, spleen, and lung, and large intestine, right? So we use the, the sun point of spleen, stomach, lung, and large intestine, which is spleen 5 stomach 48 lung 5 and large intestine 2 right then according to the principle in here we need to uh, tonify the wood which is tonify um liver and gallbladder that is liver 8 the mother of the liver and the mother of gallbladder which is uh gb 43 sorry i forgot about the herbs right the formula one okay ginseng rinsen 0.5 and ginger one and those two formula i got itchy nose um is actually reducing stomach and spleen okay now that might be a question you said well you are saying that the uh stomach and spleen too strong right but you're using, but you're using ginseng and ginger. But ginseng and ginger is actually tonify the stomach and spleen, right? You will have the question. But what I want to tell you is, we are working on, we are working on the energy. We are not using. When you look at the herbs in here, you would think, okay, I would normally use ginseng and stomach to tonify, you know. But when I use ginseng and ginger to tonify, I will change the ratio. The ratio will be ginseng 1, uh, ginger 0 0.5. That is tonic fine, uh, uh, ratio. When I change it to ginseng 0.5, ginger 1, that actually reduce the earth, reduce the spleen and stomach. 
Okay, I want to clarify in here, but because you may have the a question, right? So, Xi Xin and Wu Wei Zi is four and nine, right? This is reducing lung and large intestine, reducing the metal. But you may, let's go back to before. Remember, Xi Xin is four, Wu Wei Zi is nine, right? If I do tonic fine, Xi Xin is nine, Wu Wei Zi is four. We well, still use the same herbs, but when I say reduce and tonic fine, we actually swap the ratio, the number. Let's have a look. Previous one. Yep, that's the one. And this one, you see, um, tonic fine metal, right? C sin, you see, tonic fine metal, C sin 9, Wu Wei Zi 4. And we're back to here. Where did I go? <laughs> okay. And this one is reduced metal. And I use C sin 4, Wu Wei Zi 9. It's just the number, swap the number. Gui Zi 8, Zi Shi 3. That is tonic fine liver. Okay, let's go. That's 11th March. Why? Right. The patient can make again say no fever, much less dry cough, bowel motion remain the same, first one with normal, and then lose type 6 bowel motion. Okay, lose, not watery, right? That's better. Uh, two times after, after that, and daily, like after the first one, the two following. Uh, bowel motion, but lose type 6, not type 7 anymore. Much less watery. Dizziness is getting better too. There's just a bit of dizziness. Um, thirsty and mouth better and bitter taste. Uh, wake up easy at night. Awake for night urine. Now, um, I was thinking the dizziness maybe because of the herbs. Because if the herbs getting very good result and she take it and she will get with dizziness, I was thinking of that and I asked the patient, "Did you get dizziness because you, when you take the herbs, you get dizziness?" She said, "No, no, no." I said, "Okay, forget about it." <laughs> because you, you know, when patients have acupuncture or uh, taking Chinese herbs and straight away or after a bit while and they get dizziness, that is because it's working very well, right? That's one of the signs. You know, um, but I couldn't tell. I couldn't really couldn't tell. All right, we do the herbs again. How do I do the herbs? Take the pose, and again, this pose represent running pose. The yang, the right side, chun guan shi, much stronger than the left side. So I use the same herbs. So I'm not. So the principle is. We use yang and tonic fine kidney. So the herbs will be the same. I, we discussed it in the, um, before, previously. So I'm not going to discuss this. I'm not going to tell you. If I use acupuncture, we discussed this already. So we exam. So we actually, um, selling plan, uh, treatment plan to our patient, to all our patients, to be honest, if they come with, um, uh, private um treatment so we we took uh uh what we call initial examination so with the initial examination uh we give the uh we collect all everything and take the post and make the diagnose and find out what's going on that's the first thing then i present we present a, a treatment plan and that treatment plan normally a Monday treatment plan and to let patient know what they actually need. For this case, I just use Chinese herbs. For some other case, most of my case, I use herbs and acupuncture combined together. Then after a month, after a month, which is four treatment, four weeks of treatment, then we're going to sit down and discuss to overview what's going on. 
whether the patient is getting any better or no better. If it's better, what has been improved and how many percent has been improved? If it's not better, so what is what thing is not better? And if not better, what can we do to make it better? We need to discuss, discuss all this. So I remember one of my, my masters said, um, none of the disease patient come to you you won't fix them or you won't get them better in just one treatment right all patients recover through a course of treatment do you agree with that so once you know the patient it won't get better in just one treatment so why don't we tell the patient up front up front and tell them that they i give you this diagnose that's what you need then how many treatment you need let's do it for one month a course of treatment first because you are not going to get better in just one treatment there's no point for me to tell you that you're going to get better in one treatment two treatment or three treatment that's why we gave them a course and explain to them it is a commitment. The reason we do that because we want them to get better. If they just want to come and try, I just want to try one or two treatment. That's okay too. But we make it clear: if you just want to try, you may not see any results. You may not see any results, right? So we want to make because we understand it. As a practitioner, as an acupuncturist, we know that it takes times. And you know it too. You have, in this case, diarrhea for how many years? More than 10 years, 20 years. You know, the patient come to you, they have chronic lower back pain. How long does it take to fix them? It takes times. So once you know it, why don't you just tell patient up front? It needs to take time. And we don't know how long because we don't know how you respond to acupuncture and Chinese herbs. That's why I give you a month, a course treatment uh, for the first month. While you get treatment, when you finish it, we do a re-exam. This is the re-exam we do. So this is the re-exam. So in the re-exam, no fever, no dry cough in the afternoon. We review from the initial examination. So yes, uh, managing patient expectation is very important. That's great. That is what we do. That's what we want to do. So re-examination is very, very important because we want to know what the patient expect for. And patient want to know what we expect for. Did they, they get better, but do they reach the goal yet? We want to reassure the patient is the same page of us. Because if you keep going to do follow up, follow up, follow up, you haven't got time to sit down to talk to the patient what they really want. Are they still want the same thing that they come to you? Because some patients they change, they change their mind. You know, they don't want any something, or they feel better, and or some patients they don't, they forget about how bad they are, and they thought, and they still have pain or some discomfort and they keep saying that it's not working i still have it but they forgot about how bad they were you know so we exam is very important to reassure the patient progress and to reassure the patient expectation and reassure the goal what goal do they want you know and then we do another plan from for them and, and the second plan we will tell them it's working well, we keep going, right? Not much to talk about it. But if it's not working well, something is not working well, how could we improve it? What thing can we add on? You know, what should we change in our treatment plan, in our treat in the technique, or what can they do at home? You know, there's so much thing that we can think of we can provide to patients. Should they start moxibustion? Should they start um to do acupressure point? You know, all this thing in re exam. But in this case, working pretty well, no fever, no dry cough in the afternoon, bitter test still, and dry mouth 
but does not want to drink water. So the dry mouth doesn't actually cause her thirsty, like she wants to drink water. Her tongue is much better. I didn't show you the tongue because I uh, used to, uh, uh, they took the picture for me in the first place and I didn't get to the picture. I asked them to actually send it to me and they didn't send it to me. Um, bowel motion, um, first one were normal, type four, and then loose. The second and third ones lose top six. That's it. And everything is pretty good. As you can see, it was top seven watery, no solid pieces. And now it's top six. That's pretty good. It was top seven, right? And the first one is actually top four. And that's pretty good. Okay. Herbs. Again, on the re-exam, they sign up another plan for another month. Um, so I took the post. The post, again, same as before, Yang Strong, running my Yang Strong and in week. So the principle is we use Yang and tonic fight in. Then herbs still the same. And if I, if I was giving her acupuncture and there will be the same point over here. So no change with that. We discussed that already. Um okay now unfortunately New Zealand after this treatment after um the 18th of March then we locked down <laughs> we locked down so as you can see the 18th of March then when did I see the patient again until this month, the 8th of April. And how did I do that? I, we couldn't send herbs out. And she, she kept contacting me on WeChat because we connect on WeChat. When can I get my herbs? Because she was so happy. Because it was much better. I want to keep going my herbs. She didn't want to stop the herbs. She, she was afraid that when she stopped the herbs, the coughing would come back. You know, and the fever came back. Keep charging me every day. And her daughter chased me. So I said, I'm sorry. I'm working. I'm working on it. We working on it. And we just couldn't send out the herbs. I didn't give you herbs, but we couldn't send it out. And they said they can pick it up. We said, no, we're not allowed to go out. And my employee, my manager, they are not allowed to go to the clinic. You know, they not just not. The push. We have to uh, follow the rule that. New Zealand lockdown rule. We didn't give the herb to them. We can if we can. We want to do that, but we can't. We say, I'm sorry, we can't, we just can't do it. So you just have to wait for it. We con contact everyone and we contact ACNZ and to try to get this sorted. Wait until this day. The end of four is when we confirm that we can send out the herbs. Then I make an appointment. For her using uh this platform and uh on wechat and to talk to her she was so happy she said bowel motions no more now which is type four just once a day look that's pretty good very happy as she said that ever since her gallbladder out she suffered from watery bowel motion for years has been to a lot of Western and Chinese doctor and taking a lot of Chinese medicine in China. Unfortunately, none of them work. So that is the reason why when she first came to me, and I gave her tea back and she said, that would not work. Why is that? Because she was taking a lot of Chinese herbs back in China. Then you know they have to cook the herb. There's a lot of herb. They have to cook it, and the amount of herbs a lot. And I now just get them tea back, and they can't smell the Chinese herbs, and the water is not even dark, and it's just a little bit of smell of flavor. And they drink it, and everyone can drink it. Of course, you think that would not work. Again, we are working on the pulse, on the energy. We are not working on, on the conditions.
you know. So the thinking is all changed in here. The theory, we because what we what we understand the qi and the energy. The qi and energy is very light, and we're using the qi, the energy of the herbs, rather the uh, the function of the herbs. You know, it's different thinking. Because she had a lot of Chinese herbs in the past, and of course it didn't work, and she was so happy. She didn't believe that that tea bag can work for her, and she was so ha happy about that. Okay, think about it. How would I prescribe the herbs if we are just using uh, online video consultation? Right, I have two things that I was thinking about in this part when I um prescribe the herbs. I can just basically follow the last prescription because it was working well, you know, back to how it was when I um pre prescribe herbs when I uh based on asking a question because it was working well, you know, then or I can totally change the herbs. Change the herbs um, to um, to to just give her some um, other formula according to the question, the answer. She answered the question how she felt, you know. So I came to a point that I think, okay, now I can't use the pose because when you use the pose, this is short short side of using the pose you have to see the patient you have to take the pose but it was working very well as you can see all this time i keep changing the herb according to the post diagnose but this is the short side when we all locked out we can't see the patient we can't take the herb we can't take the pose to diagnose how do i do that i use uyun liu qi i know I'm not quite sure whether you guys know about this. In Huang Di Neijing, there's a couple chapter and a lot about an Uyun Liu Qi. Uyun Liu Qi is getting patient birth date. Date. Like your birthday, take out a birthday and to look at five different things to do the calculating and to find out what metal, what elements that you are on uh about your con constitution when you're born when you were born as soon as you're born on that um area on that uh weather on that year date and month you have a constitution that everyone have the same constitution if they born on the same day you know but i'm not saying that everyone will get sick but the symptom will be the same. No, the symptom will be differently. The disease will be differently, but the cause of the root cause of the disease will be the same because they share the same, the common constitution. Okay. Then now we have the constitution, then I can get the time today and the mega and see how the Uyun Liu Qi is. And we have five different uh, factor when she was born, and we have five for today. And I work it out and see, okay, it actually match the post diagnose. And I went back to uh, the last few times when I see her. I said everything match out, and that's good. When it's match, then I give the same herbs according to last time without post diagnose is this is this the chinese birthday yes but we don't need to do that we can use the english one then do the calculation and now it's simple we just go online and put all the information in and everything came out so it saved a lot of time it saved a lot of time one of the reasons is because way back before I do that um 12 years 
13, 12 or 13 years ago, when I was in university, I actually quite interested in this part. I, I got a lot of books. This is one of the books. I, I did it myself, but when I, because I, I was relying on asking the question and to get the conditions and prescribe the herbs. And when I do this calculation and I, with my herbs, and a lot of time it is actually against, you know, I couldn't get a conclusion, you know, so I gave up of Uyin Liu Qi. But while this lockdown time, and before that, actually, a few months ago, I started again. I started again to, to go into Uyin Liu Qi. And I found that um, it actually matched the diagnose by using poles. If I use post diagnose it and it actually match the results of the diagnose from Uyin Liu Qi. So it's a great thing. So while this lockdown time, I have more reading in here and I get some, some of my case out, which it has been working well. And I go through Uyin Liu Qi and use Uyin Liu Qi to diagnose it without any symptom, without any asking anything. I use, um, so I use Windows to diagnose and back to a few of my patients and then look at the post diagnose and the her. It actually match pretty well. Same diagnose. So that point, in that point, I think, okay, this is working well. Since I tried my, for this patient and my mother in law as well. I didn't try for all my patients, to be honest. For, for the one that who came after the lockdown and because I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure yet. So I firstly tried myself as well. <laughs> I did it for myself and, and that's how I went to it. Okay. So the 25th of the 4th and even though they can get the herbs, but the herbs delayed about a week to get we live in the same city and Hamilton is not big at all. And the herb took a week to get to them. Incredible. <laughs> okay. Now, again, not much to talk about in this case, in the last treatment, a uh, few days, I think last week, so bitter test again, and she didn't sleep well at all. Uh, the main complaint is actually dry mouth, very dry mouth and very bitter taste. So what I did is, why I keep the same herbs and I give her another herb according to Uyin Liu Qi. After shower, I use San Huang Xie Xin Tang. After shower, she just need to mix two teaspoon, yellow teaspoon with one little little of warm water after shower she just need to pour the herbal water on the body from the from the, what uh from um from shoulder down to the feet okay this is from huang di neijing as well this is from huang di neijing as well so you can you can use bath i put all the herbs into a bath but that's gonna waste a lot of water all right. So this is one of the doctor in China and he actually told me last week. We, we went back, went on a WeChat and he told me that he was using that and using the bath, just simple, not actually a bath. It's just portal herbal water onto body and it works very well. And then I worked, I did it for myself and I, since the lockdown, my, my mother in law is one of my patients and so you end up with a lot of pain and normally we use acupuncture for pain it works very well everyone knows this but because i can't see her and i can't give her acupuncture i actually give her herbs uh tea bag and test it out i couldn't take took the pulse and and then she took it and one of the formula we test out two formula i said i'm not quite sure which one either you were with this pulse or this pulse but let's test it out and she tests one and one's working well and the other one's not. And then I, I use Uyun Liu Qi to, 
to get my mother not as you know in acupuncture is we collect all the dead information from patient so her birthday is actually on our uh, data i just pour it out and do a window chi for her i say okay no wonder she said the formula one for my mother not working for her because it actually the formula one match the uh, uh, diagnose and the formula two that i gave her that's how i did i said there's a formula one and formula two i suspect one of them will work but i'm not quite sure i said mom let's test it out you take this one for one or two days and you felt how is your pain if it works you feel we reduce and then after that you take the other one for one or two days if that one's not working well for you you won't feel relief from it so she did it and she texted me she actually uh texted me or email me or facebook me and say formula one works well she felt relief from formula one but not formula two the formula two she take she took it didn't get any relief at all i said and then i went to the get her data out and i get we new chi and calculator and i said wow that match the formula one the the, the diagnose the re, the diagnose match the formula one i think and then i went and gave her another formula i said well i'm gonna give you another formula this is for after shower you just pour on your body you know and she go for a walk and after walk she actually get a lot of pain you know uh just within 15 minutes she used to she said to go for a 45 minute walk and they cut down to half an hour and cut even cut down to uh 15 minutes that's still painful and and it's funny enough after walking she felt pain and even sitting sitting for a while she felt all the pain in the body you know i said that's okay we now know that that formula work i'll give you another formula and this formula is actually same formula but i put in the powder so I asked her to put in the water and after shower, just pour from the shoulder down to the feet and then don't use the water to wash it off. Just dry it. Just dry it. That's it. And she did it every time she, after she went for a walk, she came back, she felt a lot of pain. And as soon as she take a shower and pour those in, pain's gone. She just, and she just talked to me this today is it just a little bit of pain not much at all working very very well you see so once we know the internal herbs that by taking it works then we can add on the other herbs at the same formula for having sour or for bath and it will work even well why is that because all the skin breathe and the skin will absorb the herbs into the body. And again, we are treating the energy. And the Wei Qi is actually on top of the skin. You are just changing the energy by pouring the herbs on the body. All right. So this is something that I use for my patient in this case. And I discuss about why I use Wu Yun Liu Qi. Again, I'm not the expert of Uyun Liu Qi. I just started to experience more and more for Uyun Liu Qi. I even started to see some uh, distal patient, like uh, some patient in Malaysia, and they want me to help them. So I say, yeah, give me your birthday. And I calculated and I say, this is the herb that you need. That I haven't heard any uh, feedback yet, but soon we'll get feedback. But in the future, that may be something that is gonna be very easy for practitioner because for thousand years that i find why people can't use uyun liu qi that's because it always against the diagnose if you're using um, question asking question to collect the information because most of the time in my case in the past 10 years ago 12 years ago when I started Wu Yun Liu Qi and I calculated and 
and always against uh, the theory that I use and I just give up of win new chi. Why is that? Because in my experience, when I follow all my master, they use it very well by just asking questions and giving herbs. And none of them need to use win new chi. When I really back to, in, in the last few years, I really back to Huang Di and read it and started you post. And now, a couple months ago, I started going Wuyun Liu Qi and I found all oh, the diagnosis actually match what I felt from my post. And I started to believe in Wuyun Liu Qi again. Okay. It's just something that I do um, in my practice and I share with you. Okay. Now, the last thing in here, yes, you can ask questions, give you some minutes. Um, we have Balance Method Acupuncture Webinar, okay, local balance. Um, you have to pay for it, okay, it's in the, uh, the English one. We have Chinese and English one, and the English one is all up there ready for you to watch, and it's 299 US dollars. Uh, it was three hundred ninety nine. Um, so, in this balance method acupuncture, it actually have um, what do you call it? Uh, what I call it a CPD, but night CPD. If you wanted to buy it, uh, you can. Uh, let me post you the. Uh, the link or when you download the document uh, it has the link over there and you can if you're interested on it you can go onto it and click the link and go in and you can buy it online and again you watch it you have lifetime access you know and just one payment lifetime is assess and you can uh there's a guarantee for night um 30 days within 30 days if you don't like the webinar you can ask for refund okay now it's question time if you need to ask any question i'm here for you but first give me some minutes i we need to take a break you can put your question here i'll come back and and give you the answer okay because I need to go to the toilet for a while. <laughs> Just, okay. Um, yeah, put down your question over there. And for the rest of you, if you don't have any question, and if, uh, yes, you can leave now and you will get the certificate. Okay. We finished at 9.53. 50, uh, okay. Let's see the question. So in the past, I joined your webinar. You always give CP certificate. Why now we have to join the Facebook? I'm not too keen to use this kind of social media Facebook. I don't have an account with Facebook. I'm sorry that we put up very clearly on the uh, on the um, uh, advertising to send to everyone. That's the only way that you have to get into Facebook, or you can get your friend to download it for you. Um, the reason we do this is because when we send out a, a certificate to everyone and everyone always have a question and say, oh, I don't receive the certificate and, you know, and we receive a lot of email and they, ah, I haven't got it and where do I get it? Can you send it again? There's too much. So we just want to keep it simple. Just put it on one place and everyone can go in and do it yourself. And again, this is a free webinar and we spend time to apply the CBD for you and we didn't charge anything at all and we have to get uh, people to create it and in the past I actually get my team to do it and I pay my team to to do all this thing and it cost money for me and I didn't charge you at all and and now I have to have um, uh, Kevin uh, who uh, volunteered to do that for me uh, and again when I have the email system, I have to pay the email system uh, to keep to sending email to you guys to send the certificate for you. And if I, if I over the limit, I I think I pay uh, 
$35 US dollar a month. And I want, I, I send out over the limit. I'd actually pay, uh, probably 10 or $20 on that month extra to just sending the email to you guys for the certificate, you know? So you see, I actually pay money to send out the certificate to you and I have to pay money to my, for my team to work all this thing for you and I actually get my, uh, at some point I actually get my, uh, clinic, uh, manager and they help me to do something for me and I have to pay them, you see? So I just want to make things simple, Mandy. Now, if you think this is too much for you, you don't want to join and it's fine. You know, there, there has other, uh, webinar that you can join like an AC engine, um, actually in the team on the WeChat and they have some free, uh, webinar. And if, if the webinar organized by the, uh, AC engine group and it's simple, you don't need certificate. You just need to be there and give the name. That's it. I appreciate much it. But because I'm not, uh, represent AC engine or engine ASA, I'm just doing on my own. Uh, so both of, of the acupuncture association, they require us to give certificate and to make it simple. We create all certificate in once in PDF and you just have the screenshot or take a picture of the uh, certificate by your own and then send it to them. So hopefully you understand this. Okay, I'm gonna how to join the Facebook. First, you need to have a Facebook account first, eh? I'm gonna uh, put out an action that you can do the button like in 10 seconds. Yep, here you go. You have 10 seconds to join in. You should click it now. Okay, now if you haven't got it, you can go back to the uh, the NJRA or NJSA to send, they have sent you the email and the, in the email, they clearly told you that what's going on, that you need to click which link to, to join the Facebook group. And again, um, if you have your colleague or your friends is actually on the group, you don't have to join it. You don't have to join it. Okay. I know some of you asked the question. I want to know what can I, if run, okay. Dan Dan said, if running post, how do you use the individual herbs instead of running formula? Okay. Now <laughs> that is going to go with, um, that's going to use a lot of effort for me to understand, to, to explain to you, which I'm not, um, able to because you need you need to understand what herbs go into what herbs and which herbs it actually go to which meridian and, and, and all the meridian, you have five organs. You have a uh, five soup point and five soup point has one of the herbs and Dan Dan, you learned the Yao Jing already. You can go back to that and to find out yourself, or you can go back to uh, go to Google and Google the formula. If you know the theory and it's easy, it's not hard at all. Okay. Is there any question? I might miss your question. Can you repose again? Many say, I understand. For your efforts, thank you. How to join? Okay, good. Thank you. Put one donation page, which is a good idea. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's difficult. If I do donation in my company, we have to clear where to come from, whether it's GSD or not. It's just pain. But thank you, though. Kimberly said, would you be organizing any workshop on Wu Yun Liu Qi? Um, I have a video in Chinese. I haven't got a video uh, in, in, uh, in English yet. But it's pretty simple. 
depending what you're gonna do, if you understand Wuyin Liu Qi and then you know it can be confusing. The way I say it can be confusing is because it may against to what you learned in the past. You know, just when I when I come to the post, it actually a lot of thing that against what I. I, I use in the past, you know. As you see, all my formula and the point I choose and how I diagnose it is very different with what you diagnose from when you just by asking your patient and collecting the uh, uh, the information by asking. Yeah, Tan Tan, if we don't use a formula, how do we use individual herbs? Yeah, again, um, it's different, and we can't discuss in here over here. That that is very difficult. There's a lot of herbs that we're gonna use. The reason I use formula is because is because my uh, uh, clinic, uh, my team, they don't have to mix up too much herbs, you know. Because one of one of the diagnoses, each of the pair of the meridian, you have used three different herbs. Because when you do needle, you you can do three needles or two herbs. So that's why I use the formula. This balance method acupuncture web in a local balance top notch. Oh, thank you, Eric. <laughs> Have you joined really, Eric? Iron Triangle did your answer. Now I want to let you know that I'm going to put up the price very soon to 399 US dollar. If you want to join in, you better join first, fast. And if I happen to, uh, put more content in, and then you will get it for free, you know, in the future. Any content added on to local balance, it'll be free. But when I add more content, the price will up to 399 or even more. Okay. But if you're interested to get it, you better get it soon, but I don't know when I'm going to do, uh, 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 put up to 399 yet. Iron triangle, did you answer? I haven't answered the iron triangle yet. What was the question? Uh, Lee said, thank you for a very, uh, very interesting presentation. Thank you. Sorry, I was locked out. No problem. This balance method acupuncture. Oh, I keep reading the same thing. Iron triangle. Did you answer? I haven't. Can you repose it, please? What was the question? You mentioned a free video or webinar on how to make herbs. Where, how does, okay. Lee, good question that I mentioned about free video and webinar and a free webinar and how to, um, make herbs right it's actually on my platform and that's a free to assist and if you give a i'll make sure i send it to everyone to invite you guys all into uh uh, uh um, my platform which i'll put you on to um one of my um a list and they're all going to send it out to you peter i just said if you use xiao chai hu tang for sao yang pattern at 11 of March. Yes, Peter, of course you can use it because the bitter taste and dry mouth is still there. Of course you can, you can do that, you know. As I said, um, if I just, uh, if I prescribe the herbs according to, um, the information that I collect from asking the question, I would use Chao Chai Hu Tang and Wu Ling San for this patient. To be honest, that's how we're going to use it. That's how I would use it, actually. Would you send me the handout? Thank you. The handout, right? It's actually in here. You can, you can download it yourself. You can download it yourself. Mary? Maria? You can download, is it? Joe, sorry, Joe. Joe Lu, you can download yourself. It's on the page right now. You can download it. Maria, yes, I would like to see your video about the tea bag herbal prescription. Yes, I'll send to everyone. Yes, in December 19. Oh, okay, Eric joining the course already. Thank you. For wood, Dan Dan, for wood strong pose. 
can we tonify earth instead of lung? Okay, good question, Dan Dan. Very good question. Thank you. <clears throat> Wood strong, can we tonify earth? Yes, instead of um, yes and not. Okay, um, let me pull up something for you. Let me share the screen about Dan Dan question. Tonify earth instead of lung, right? Uh, this is a very good question. I want to answer this properly. And let me share a screen for you guys. Uh, let me find out the page first, and then I can share a screen and answer you properly. Because I have this already. And wait, what is it? Okay. I got it in here. I'm going to share the screen of my um, computer. Just give me a minute. I need to find out how it works again. Mm. Presentation, layout. Okay, share screen. Okay, I can do share screen. Give me, give me a minute, eh? I just. Okay, share screen. Okay, you guys will be able to see this screen now. Can you see it? If you can see it, please um, say yes. Just one of you. If you can see my screen. Can you see the mouse? My mouse moving? Okay, good. That's it. You don't have to. You don't have to. You, you don't have to put or respond now. No, no need to answer. I know you can see it now. Okay. Now the wood is strong, right? That's too strong, right? <clears throat> and my way is, we use wood, and we use fire, and tonify metal, right? Why is that? Because when I tonify metal, wood. We would use the fire. We would use too because when I tonify metal, metal go back to the fire to against fire, right? Why do I use this? The principle that I use, the principle I use is in here. Wood excess reduce fire. The principle is reduce the sun in excess symptom, right? That makes sense to you? Okay. Now, look, I'm using this reduce. In my case, I reduce the sun, right? Dan Dan, if you say, can I tonify this instead of here? Okay, what happened if you tonify here? What happened if you tonify here? This will get reduced, right? But when you tonify here, what happened to fire? When you tonic fire here, the fire will actually get stronger. The fire will get stronger. You can do this, tonic fire earth. There's another triangle. You can tonic fire here by reduce water. Because when you reduce wood, you can reduce the mother as well. When the mother's weak, the sun will be weak too. So when you earth, you strong the earth, tonify earth, it can go back to against wood and, and also against water. So why do I say that? You see, if I, if you again, if I, to, if I reduce wood, I will use fire, you tonify earth. When you tonify earth, what happened? The earth is too strong and the water will be weak because earth gonna against water. 
and water weak. When the water weak, water can't against fire, and the fire will become stronger. And the water weak, the water can support the earth. So the earth will become what weaker, right? And yeah, that's that's right too. It's in here. It's this the fire. If the water is weaker, water can against fire. Fire will become stronger, and no, and when this stronger, it doesn't match what we just do. It against our theory in here. So yes, you can do this if you want to do earth. You definitely don't want to do fire. You want to do create another triangle, which is this triangle. And this triangle, you're gonna do. We use wood. We use water. Tonify earth. That's a triangle that you can do. Does it make sense to you? This is for you, Dan Dan. Kitchen hall. Say thanks again, Sunan. Hope to see you soon. Like, thank you. That would be awesome. Very good. Learn a lot today. Thank you so much for your share. I hope you have a nice night. Looking forward to see you soon from Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, good. So, all good, right? That's it. Any more question? If you have any question, you can. We can discuss in the group in the Facebook group. You're welcome to post any question. If I see it and I have time to do it, I will even do a video for you. Or I can just reply in um in uh in text, you know. Now in the group you can ask any question you want, okay? If I be able to answer you all the question, I would. If anything that I'm not allowed to share, like if I don't, if someone asked me to share the GE acupuncture, but I don't get permission from GE acupuncture master, and I wouldn't be able to share with you. Okay, but it's anything that I know, and it doesn't um, against the respectful for my master, and I'm happy to share with you. Okay, like the triangle one, the triangle one, I figured out myself. I figured out myself. And I didn't learn from any of them. So if you ask me, I just explain to you. And I don't need to ask anyone permission. I can share. Um, Joe, you can download yourself the document or I can put it up on Facebook group. I'm not going to send all this thing. <laughs> Too complicated. Yan Ning Liu, wonderful lecture. Thank you. So any question that I haven't answered, please we pause it again. Iman, Facebook will be fine. What do you mean Facebook will be fine? What was your question? <laughs> I missed your question actually. Alison, thank you. Very informative. Thank you. Yeah, I know a lot of you uh, actually came came to my workshop, and unfortunately, after the workshop, we all locked down, and we haven't got time to practice, and you haven't been able to practice. Uh, but it's good though today that you see um, in this presentation, you can see that I actually um, I I told you what I use in my clinic and none of the like the all the acupuncture technique I, I told you all in my workshop right and I'm pretty sure that whoever been to our my uh, workshop that you would understand why I use all this and what I said about all the posts and it's a good review for you guys actually I mean, I'm, Iman say, Iman say, I mean, 
it would be good for you of you could put the file on Facebook. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. David will say if I understand you said woman right post is in and no woman right post actually young and left post no woman right is young. We talk about young and all Huang Di Neijing in the past they focus on young. They don't talk much on in. If you go to all the Huang Di Neijing or the Chinese medicine, we only talk about yang, you know, more focus on yang. And when you talk yang, you know the opposite is in. The in is what what happened in. So only focus on yang, and only focus on the left side. Talking about the left side more. And that's the culture of Chinese Chinese culture as well. You know, you more focus on the men. Let's focus on woman. That's in the past, though. Um, so yeah, woman right size actually young. Woman right, men left, which means the young left and male on the men. Young on the right side is actually on female. And in the main is reverse. Okay. Your workshop is fantastic. You share a wide amount of extra knowledge. It is well worth it. He's a good teacher. Thank you, Alison. Alison, sorry. Thanks, David.